The 2023 BSKE elections was generally peaceful and a success, and that's the end of it, but not so fast, the poll body says. Winning and losing candidates need to fulfill their end of the bargain to clean up their campaign materials and submit their statements of contribution and expenses. Our Luisa Erispe has more. The Commission on Elections, or COMELEC, warns all BSKE candidates to remove their campaign materials as this is part of their duty. Dapat po talaga, libang araw pagkatapos ng ating botohan, na dapat po matanggal na lahat ng eleksyon para pernal. Ako naman po naniniwala na yung po mga, mga kandidato na talo man o nanalo ay susunod po naman sila. Kasi alam nila na may implikasyon nito yan sa mga susunod nila ng mga pagtakbo. The COMELEC also eyes to file a case against PNP personnel and teachers who withdrew as electoral boards during the election day as this caused delays which is unacceptable. Nag-train na kami. Pagkatapos eh, naglingkod na sila, nakuha na yung mga ilang eleksyon para pernala kung meron man o kung wala pa, bakit biglang nag-withdraw? Paano kami kung walang pang, pang palit sa kanila kaagad? But, ang akin lang po is, sana walang withdrawhan pag sa election day. Kung sinasabing tinakot, talimbawa, pwede ma-report ka agad sa amin para ma-actionan po namin. But not on election day kasi po nakaset up na tayong lahat, nakapila na yung tao tapos mag-withdraw tayo para pong uh, hindi katanggap-tanggap yung ganong klaseng kadahila o yung ganong klaseng action. The COMELEC plans to meet with BARM regarding the matter since this was the region with the highest numbers of withdrawals. Ang gusto rin natin makausap ay ang ating uh, ministry ng sa bangsa Moro on higher education kasi ang pinakamadami nag-withdraw doon sa kanila. Meanwhile, the poll body is distributing honoraria to teachers who served as electoral boards and aims to finish distribution by tomorrow. The EB chair will receive 10,000 pesos while members of the board will receive 9,000 all tax-free. Election-related incidents increased. From previous 29 incidents, the COMELEC has recorded 32 incidents with still 19 deaths but with 28 injured thus far. Luisa Erispe for The Nation.